How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna break down what we put in our binders when we set up for a show. I've spent the last week in preparation for the San Francisco card show, and we have a total of five binders that we're bringing this time. Two of them are $1 binders, two of them are $2 and up binders, and then we have a mid-end binder. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside these binders. All right, so we have our first $1 binder. This is what we call the popular $1 binder. So this is all the uh, cards that we try to put of popular Pokemon, things that people are really seeking out for really good prices. So as you guys can tell, this has a lot of uh, trainer galleries in it. It's from all the trainer guys from all the newer era sets. Uh, we also have special illustration cards that are very cheap for a dollar, Galarian Gallery as well. We do have some special illustration of Japanese, people who are looking to fill their master sets or people who just want the very cool art. And then we come to the Radiant Pokemon. People love Radiant Pokemon. I think I also have an amazing rare here, but these are just pretty much popular Pokemon that people are looking for really good prices. We have the starter Pokemon. These are pretty much Pummel cards. And as we continue on, we have Pikachu. People love Pikachu, so these are just cheap Pikachu cards. And then we move on to Eevees in their evolution. Bunch of Eevee cards for a dollar. And then we have the next popular Pokemon, Mew and Mewtwo. And then we get to the last of the binder, which is the Legendary Birds. And that's pretty much what was in the first binder. And moving on to the second $1 binder. This is another binder full of Pokemon that are not as popular, but we think that people would like. We don't put everything in these binders, but we try to put the most sought after cards or people that have a fan base. So people would be more than inclined to buy these for a dollar. And this is sorted by color. So right now we're in fire. Moving on to water types. Gyarados is very popular. Got some Magikarps there. In general, we fill this binder with V, EXs, and then some promo cards that, are, as well as some hollows that are kind of sought after or hard to find. As you guys can tell, we have some promo cards. pre-release cards. We do have some older cards. That's a reverse holo Lucario. Onto darkness type. Tyranitar, or I like to call it Reptar from Rugrats. Onto metal, we have the legendary dogs. And onto dragon type, some dragonites here. We do have some fairy energy, although there's not too many in this binder. As we move on to the colorless type, legendary birds here, ditto, fan favorite, and Snorlax has a crowd favorite. And then we do have some miscellaneous trainers here in the back as well as some energy and looks like we have some older cards that we're looking to sell for a dollar each. But that pretty much wraps up what's in the second $1 binder. Moving on to our $2 and up binders. Usually we only have one of these binders available at our table, but as of lately, we've gotten a lot of inventory. So we actually have two of these binders. I believe this binder has some of the older era EXs and GXs and everything in this binder is gonna be $2 and up. Once again, we try to stock it up with the popular Pokemon or Pokemon that people would be inclined to buy. Not all EXs and GXs will be in this binder. Some Pokemon just won't sell. So this is just pretty much from our personal uh, kind of track record of what we see sells or what people are looking for. And once again, this is sorted by type. Snorlax fan favorite, like I said. 
And that pretty much wraps up for the EX and GXs. We're going to move on to the shiny Pokemon. We do have shiny Pokemon available. They're all $2 for the most part. There's a lone Vulpix for three, but for the most part, these will all be $2. People looking to complete their master sets can look through this binder to fill out uh, their complete shiny vault. And that pretty much wraps up for this binder, and we'll move on to the last $2 and up binder. All right, here is our last $2 and up binder. Charizard, of course, fan favorite, as well as Pikachus. Have some evolutions. As you guys can tell, they're very popular. Have some 151, as well as the starting Pokemon. Then we have some older vintage as well as just some uh, legendary cards. As we move on, we have more expensive trainer galleries as well as some full arts. Some special illustrations that people are looking for their master sets. And in general, we try to sort them in the order that they're in for the sets. Do have some Japanese more expensive special illustration. Move on to full art section. We have some alternate arts here. Going on to the gold section. These are some lower ended gold cards. And everybody's favorite section, the full arts. We do have some secret rares followed by the full arts. And these are in order of the sets. So people who are looking for something from a particular set can find it very easily. Everything pretty much in these $2 and up binders will be anywhere from two to $5. Anything past $5 will be in our mid end binder, which we'll be showing you guys next. But just finish up this $2 and up binder as we finish up all of the full arts that's in this binder. And these are all sorted by color. And then from within color, they are sorted by the set type. some of the more modern cards. And we do have some Japanese full arts. And here is the last binder we're gonna show you guys. This is a more recent investment. This contains all of our mid end cards. Uh, it is a top loading binder. And the reason why we bought a top loading binder is that we wanted to save some space in the case by putting this stuff inside of a binder. Uh, because some of it is a little bit more more expensive, we do have to be kind of wary of this binder so people don't steal cards from it. But we'll go ahead and show you what's in inside this binder. Uh, this binder has seemed to be very popular over the last couple of shows. So we're going to continue to stock it. I think, I think it's working really well. Um, so we start off with some vintage cards. And then we have some Japanese cards that are vintage. Some e-reader cards and then some more popular Pokemon, Arceus, Legendary Birds, Giratina, Charizard, as you guys all know, very popular. Pikachu as well. We have some starter Pokemon here on the bottom. Moving on to Mew and Evolutions. Like I said, Evolutions is very popular, as you guys can see. Kind of a running theme with us. They sell very well, very sought after. Moving on to Gold Pokemon. Do have some rare trainer cards here on the bottom. Gold trainer cards. People won't usually want these for their decks. Moving on to full arts, some alternate rares here, and full art trainers, very popular as you guys know, so we like to keep our binder stock with full arts whenever we get them. 
onto secret rares. We have some secret rare trainers, as well as secret rare Pokemon. Do have some trainer galleries as well as some special illustration cards. Some 151 here. And then some full arts and Japanese. Don't have a lot of Japanese cards, but we do have some available to our patrons. That pretty much wraps up to what's in our binders when we set up at shows. This is pretty much what everyone scours whenever we set up at shows. As you guys can tell, they're pretty competitively priced. We're aware that there are cards that are valued at less than what we've marked them at, but there are also cards that are worth more than what we've marked them at. But at the end of the day, as you guys all well know, not everybody pays uh, exactly what the sticker price is. Uh, we give heavy discounts for people who buy in bulk. So someone who pulls out $5 worth of $1 card Cards, they're probably not even paying five dollars you're probably paying three dollars so the breakdown is probably less than one dollar hopefully this video gives you guys some insight of what we like to stock our binders with as you guys all know in our videos the binders are very popular the binders are just a great way to display cards because people don't like to thumb through boxes they really like to flip through pages because with every flip of a page they're able to see eight, potentially 18 cards at a time as opposed to some people just don't want to look through five row full of cards but hopefully that gives you insight of how we like to set up at shows with our binders thank you guys for watching the video as always stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you guys in the next video